I began to become aware of research regarding the toxicity associated with a root canal tooth probably eight or nine years ago. Some very good research was coming from the University of Kentucky by a very well-known biochemist regarding the toxicity associated with root canal teeth. I could hardly believe that when I began to read it and then Quite frankly, I went to see that biochemist and see the research, and I became convinced that root canal teeth, a dead tooth, truly has a toxicity associated with it that I think can so influence our systemic health that I could no longer do a root canal in good conscience. You know, there's no other place in the body that we leave something that's dead. If there's any place else in the body that you have something that dies and that is no longer receiving a good blood supply, we know in the medical community that you have to remove that um, part of the body because it's not healthy. We've been conducting our own study regarding root canal teeth. This particular study deals only with the very best root canal teeth perfect on x-ray and asymptomatic. In excess of 98% have tested severely to extremely toxic. So we're talking about teeth that have toxicities, quite frankly, that make toxins like botulism toxin, tetanus toxin. Those toxins look pale in comparison with the toxins associated with root canal teeth. We happen to see in this office people who have had a root canal and only within weeks then be diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. And there's nothing else that they can point to. So they begin to think, could it possibly have been the root canal? Even though that's frustrating, oftentimes we find that, that people's health really improves when you eliminate the toxicities associated with dentistry.